Hello, and welcome. I'm Zinder. Here we are, back again, playing uh, Feed the Beast. Uh, before I get into some of the things I've done, I just want to start off with, uh, apparently there's an actual, like, food level meter on this helmet now. I just noticed that earlier. But, uh, done some stuff. I had the quarry running for a long time. It may not look like I gained, like, I you might be able to tell I gained a bunch here. I converted a lot of the coal dust. Still have a bunch of coal. I put barrels of coal over here so I would have some in reserve because I was just full exporting it. Put a crafting monitor to, uh, which that's actually pretty easy. I, if I could type it right. It, it's really just stupid simple. I mean, it's the basic processor that you see me make multiple times. An ME cable, some iron, and some glass. That's all it really takes. But uh, I had an issue where there something was going wrong in the thing, and I just couldn't place it, so I made the crafting monitor. So, it resolved that issue. Uh, however, I did make some things while off-screen. Uh, two machines, and a good number of solar panels. Well, and ignore this. Uh, the recycler, to my knowledge, only takes low voltage, so I had to hook that into my low voltage line. But, uh, this is a recycler. If we go have a look, it's made from a compressor, three dirt, two refined iron, and a glowstone, which the compressor is made out of six stone, a machine block, and an electronic circuit. Pretty simple. Uh, and I have eight overclockers in it. This creates scrap from anything. Literally anything. You throw something in there, it'll destroy it. You have a chance of getting scrap. I believe it's equal uh, no matter what item it is. Uh, this is just wooden pipe, octarctic gate. Speaking of which, I need to remove these things because I have a plan for them in the near future, and I might have slightly ripped up my floor. Now, scrap can either be opened, and opening it will give you a random item. Pretty much any random vanilla or IC2 item. But uh, we're just going to break this down. Oh, saw that coming. Breaking my floor apart. What a terrible person. But, uh, anyhow, I did it again. Stop that. Sometimes this thing is too good, if you know what I mean. But, uh, anyhow, I made some medium voltage solar panels to supplement upcoming changes to my power network. Uh, but this is right here. This machine is a mass fabricator. And I just made a serious boo-boo. Well, not that serious. Uh, what the mass fabricator does is it takes in power. It's made from things you've seen me make before. A Lapatron crystal, glowstone, advanced circuits, and an advanced machine block. But what it does is it takes power, and it can take any level of power, and I have it hooked in in a way where it's mostly drawing only the power I'm not using. Uh, and it makes UU matter, which, as you can see, I have almost five stacks of. I let this run for about six hours, and I've already got that much, and that's with only having a light half the time. And if you remember, my floating island world is light all the time. Oh, and I don't believe it'll actually let me uh, see how you use it, other than maybe some... Yeah, this is the only recipe it shows, which is for MFFS. Uh, but it can be used to make a ton of different things, including the iridium that is needed to make the uh, the quantum and gravisuite stuff. So I'm just going to break this machine down. And... Uh, knock these out. I'll replace all these holes. Fill them in later. Uh, put the stuff back that's supposed to be there. This, that, and whatnot. But, uh, these are medium voltage solar arrays. These four right here. Uh, I thought, you know, I have a... I had, uh, one MFE there. I've got the MFSU there, which is holding 10 million. So, no problem there. And then I've got those two machines there, which can only draw about a... The most they can really draw is 256 a piece, I think, right now. So, 
I pretty much factored for 128 there, 256 there, and then extra, so even if I'm full drawing them for some unknown reason, I still have the, uh, the power to keep generating power throughout the day. Uh, however, I had also decided that uh, in order to get the full use of the mass fabricator, it needs to be on my little island area, and I need an automated scrap setup, because scrap can be used to reduce the amount of power required to make a UU matter from 1,000,000 to 166,666. That is just 166,000, one of those two. But, uh, so, one day this thing may get entirely filled in with high voltage solar panels. It is a plan for a day. It is not the plan for today. The plan for today is to do a little bit of building. I have a tiny bit set up. Uh, I am actually going to bring this with the stuff that was in it just because. So, I have some stuff planned. Uh, one of those things is. I'm going to actually need a, an, now, as you know, I have my little output system here, and it garbages things. That's the whole point of it. What have I told you that I have a whole different plan other than just garbaging things? So what that means is I need this guy. Uh, this also means that this machine should not be outputting currently because the network is broken, but uh, that's not a huge deal. Let me just fill in these holes. Don't want any monsters spawning down here. That didn't fill in the holes very well. Click, click, and click, and go. Okay, so I'm going to take these with me. We're going to go to the floating island establishment thing stuff place. Yeah. Uh, so I've got two Arctic gates, two wooden transport pipes, and I think for the sake of being prepared... I'm going to grab the rest of the stone transport pipes. Now, basically the plan here, I actually had an Enderman walk through this portal and end up in this world, which was quite funny. But uh, as you can see, this is a medium voltage transformer. This is a low voltage transformer. I've got a relay here, uh, which by the way, seems like it is in a very crappy spot to me. How did I come about that? Uh, place? No. Place. There we go. So, how did I come about that decision? Weird. So anyhow, if I put this Tesseract here, and set this to the trash frequency, uh, before I do that, I want to set it to receive only. Trash will now come in. As you can see, it's getting dumped straight into that lava. I don't really have a better way of doing that right now, and it is outputting that at turbo speed. But, what I want to do, I'm going to take this recycler, I'm going to place it right about... See, I'll kind of put it down, pull out the front, and then the mass fabricator can only be fed from the bottom for scrap. So... I take, see, what did I do here? Oh, I know why I moved it. Okay. So, you can technically pull scrap out of any direction. Or not scrap. Oop, wrong spot. You can pull uh, UU matter out of any side of the machine. But I like doing it out of the front because it makes things make sense to me. So, the solid side is, if I am right, where things are coming out of. And I went the whole wrong way through here. Uh, items in inventory. Items in inventory. Items. Items. Items in inventory. Energy pulser. That should send it in there. Put this here and this here. Barrels can only be inserted to from the top. Put that there. Put you on there. And... Oh. Actually. I'm going to put those here. Because 
Well, you'll see in a second. I have an idea. And I also have thinking to the madness that is kind of mad. But anyhow, as you may be able to guess, above here is going to be the high voltage solar panels. They should function through this glass. Now, this right here should power the recycler just fine, which I can just do that. And then what I'll want is to, these are outputs. So if I do that, that should cause zero problems. Although, for safety's sake, I'm not going to do that. Because I don't want to risk blowing up expensive machinery. So, what this will do is I have a restriction tube there, and that should mean that things primarily go into the recycler, which I don't have a pipe hooked up to do. And I didn't bring one. I am a bad person. Oh, and you should have seen the number of times I accidentally walked into the end trying to get out of here. It was quite abysmal. It was terrible, it made me look terrible, and I should feel terrible. But, uh, that should solve that for the glass fiber cable. Still need the wooden transport pipe. Don't need the void pipe right now. I'll throw the sand and whatnot into there. Oh, I should go put this back. I have to head this way anyhow. Like I said, I'll fix the floor later. And I forgot to put the thingies, the uh, the overclockers, into the recycler, but... Bam, problem solved. Did not want to shift click, it would recycle them. But uh, what I'm going to want to do is get outside like so. And I will want this right about here. Yeah. I'm going to need a cover or something. Whoops. Wrong place. Okay, so I need to get in the red power chest. And I need a cover. What cover do I want to use? You know what? Let's be classy. Let's use the diamond panel. Because we can. So... I I can't access that from this side. Flight mode engage. Put that there. And that'll stop it from putting stuff into the matter fabricator. I'll take that out later and don't worry about it right at the second. Uh, as you can see, it'll fill up with whatever it can get at the time. So if as long as I keep the quarry running, I should be forever good to go on that. But what I'm gonna do is Basically the plan, high voltage solar panels up along here. So, and I should be able to easily expand it upwards and whatever throughout the time, no matter what. Should always have power. As you can see, that's doing. That's doing. That's not getting anything because the quarry is not running. So, yeah. But, uh... I mean, I could technically use the machine, the uh, igneous extruder, to create a permanent flow of cobble into this. But that seems like a lot of work. It's not a lot of work, but it's more work than I wish to do. Oh. That's not going to work there. Well, no, that should work just fine. It won't be able to push into there. Because, actually, it's, I'm making a mistake here, it's buildcraft pipes. They are mentally ineffective. And I got rid of my stone transport pipe, because I am an idiot. Okay, so... Yep. Okay. So basically the plan is kind of glass this off. Uh, make sure these things are all protected in the end. 
As you can see, generating that just fine, but I need to go get that pipe. Oh, I didn't put that piece of glass back either. And let's just throw some extras there. Screw it, let's just grab half a stack, throw it on there. What was I doing? I needed stone transport pipe. Bam. Uh, wrong way. So, this should get things going here. Uh, items and inventory, energy pulser. And that is pulling out the UU matter. Good deal, good deal. Uh, I set up a chunk loader. I'll just show that to you right quick. I guess it's not that quick. And, of course, I pop out the wrong one. And the wrong one. And the wrong... It's up here somewhere, goddammit. There it is. So, I've got this chunk loaded. This will always be loaded. Uh, this is an interdimensional barrel, so it can hold 1,024 stacks. So, basically, that pretty much covers that whole thing right there. Uh, the UU matter, I mean, I've got enough there. I can probably make the uh, quantum stuff, or at least the iridium for it, right now. Now, uh, what does it take? Quant. Or I could not spell it right. Quant. So, the quantum suit body armor. See, I can't... I, I don't want to go into this stuff, because what I want to do is, if I right click on that, I want to go kind of straight into the gravit chest plate. So, yeah. As for the rest of it, I mean, quantum boots, quantum legs, gravit chest beats, and then I have to make one of those really ugly helmets. But the gravit chest plate, it's a lot more controllable than what I'm using now. And like if I use any IC2 tools... So, for example, oh, there's also the stupidiculous amount of power drawing thing. I don't know if it's actually in this. It should be. It's part of the uh, Gravis Suite. Gravis Suite, Gravis Suite, where are you? Gravitation Suite. Uh, it is right here. No, that's the, just the core. Oh, here it is. The Vajra. It holds one million power. And it can break things at full speed, even in flight. Oh, it'll take twice as much power. It takes like 3,300 and something to break a block or something like that. Uh, basically, it's like the super tool in this pack. So, as far as I know, it can pretty much break all things. And I believe it also functions as a weapon. And because it uses EU, the gravit chest plate will refill it. And since, because it uh, also functions as a Lapatron pack. Notice how a lap pack is involved in this. So, but I mean, it takes a lot of UU matter to go through these things and make them. And, well, I really don't deem it necessary at the moment. I mean, I like this armor. I like having invisible armor. But, I'd also like to be able to fly normally. And unfortunately, there is a lot of things in this stuff. I mean, there's the parachute. I wouldn't need that. You know, so I can afford to lose that. No problem. Uh, I probably have to recover the jet boots. I wouldn't really need anything else. The chest piece functions quite well. But for the sake of uh, just continuity, I'd probably use the whole quantum set just because I can uh, I would lose the ability to have myself be auto fed unless I used the helmet which then my chest piece wouldn't recharge and blah. yeah it it's a long drawn out process it'll take me a while to actually make the whole thing and I probably won't wear it till I have the entire thing but uh There's no way it shows the most inopportune time to stop doing things.
did it? Did it? I'd be very disappointed. No, no, it says it's still running. And yes, that says 50 times. It's starting to dig down right now. What is this crap? Basically, I just gave it an absurd number and went to sleep with the game open. Ah, uh, here we go. There is stuff coming through. And it is just absolutely murdering whatever it gets. Is this going to be the most efficient and amazing way of generating scrap? No. And eventually, it won't matter. Because if I have enough uh, high voltage solar panels to supply me for a good long time, it's not going to be a huge deal. But you can see when the scrap enters, it makes a huge jump. Well, sometimes it's a huge jump. But it puts a really good amplifier on it, makes it come out quicker. I mean, we're gaining it at a pretty good rate. It's going to keep doing this. If I go to sleep again and I wake up in the morning, this thing is probably going to be quite full. And I can use this to make rubber. I can use it to make iron. I can use it to make whatever I want. I'd have to look up the recipes. I know what iridium is. I don't know how much iridium I'm going to need. But, uh... Advanced nano chest plate, huh? Oh, wow. It's a nano chest with a jet pack. That's mildly amusing. And so, I guess... Oh, speaking of that tool, I was looking through the workbench and I noticed there was a new mod. I don't know... It's... I thought it would actually say what it was, but it is a railgun. I have it to the highest setting. When you fire it, this thing, it was, it one-shot everything I fired it at, and it knocks you back. And, if I hold down right click, it's rapid fire, and it can throw you a long distance. Don't get me wrong, it's pretty goddamn good for sitting in a corner and dealing with mobs trying to charge at you, or one mob at a time. I mean, that distance, you can deal with it, no problem. And when it knocks you up in the air, you can actually not really lose too much forward momentum if you're in a full sprint. So, of course, if you chain fire it, you're still going to fly backwards. But, so yeah, I got up to five high voltage solar panels, so that was quite a good deal, I would have to say. Uh, as for the actual patterns, I don't know too many of them. And that'll get filled eventually. I actually made this lava with UU Matter. Basically what you do is you take it and you go like that and you get lava. Do that, you get water. And you can really just kind of throw them around however. And sometimes you'll just make things. Uh, rubber, the, the sticky resin. I know that one for sure. Because it was, whoops. It's one of the first things I kind of looked up. And it's that. 21 for four of them. So, but I mean, I converted the wheat farm into a rubber farm at the moment because I had a ton of food. Uh, as for... Oh, crap. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why you do not break barrels, or do not hit barrels with your power tool try and get things. I believe it's seven. Basically you make an eye. Or you can fail horribly. And you get one iridium ore and then one iridium ore is used with a diamond and oh four iridium ore is used with a diamond and advanced alloys to make an iridium plate. And then the iridium plates are used to make a bunch of different things. So, yeah. Speaking of which, I'm going to just put this back. Remember how I said I let the quarry run? Well, uh, I burnt through a lot of the iron. I had over 14k iron at one point. Uh, kind of destroyed it. But, uh, look how many diamonds I have. 647. 
That is completely overkill. Like, that is beyond overkill. That is completely unnecessary. Unfortunately, I don't have... I have enough iron to make another high-voltage solar panel, but I need to convert it to refined iron because I don't have much of that left. But, uh... Yeah. I am definitely going to try to just stockpile a bunch of UU Matter, get everything ready, get all the, like, things kind of cemented in my brain or something, and go through and make the different things. And I'll probably have to make some advanced alloys, and I've got all this coal dust, so that shouldn't be too hard. Well, that I don't need that for that. What am I talking about? I can make the bronze in the induction smelter, which I put back over here. So all I have to do is give it tin and copper, and it's good to go. Which, I actually eat through copper quite quickly, too, with this. Like, you would not believe how much I just chew through the copper. But, uh, yeah. I suppose I'm going to call that good for now. It's roughly 20, 25 minutes, something like that. Uh, that's all I really want to go over at the moment. Still trying to get things placed and all of that. Try and resolve things. So, fill in this nasty hole. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Wait, actually, before I finish, I do have one thing else to say. Uh, my vanilla Minecraft series. I am planning on using the pre-release of 1.6 to start it back up. That's the good news. The bad news is, is uh, between getting the new processor, the new motherboard, which the processor is fantastic for video encoding using Virtual Dub, it uses all the cores beautifully. But uh, unfortunately, it seems I have lost my save. I'm gonna look through, see if I can't find it. It may be hidden just somewhere on there, but it may be gone. So, and. I've started up so many vanilla Minecraft series, and I feel terrible about it this time, because I actually wanted to keep it going. But, unfortunately, I've kind of screwed that. But, uh, who knows. That might take a little while for me to get started up, because, I mean, I have quite a bit of things in Feed the Beast I feel like doing right now. So, yeah. And, uh, as for APB, I did mean to get one of those up yesterday should be yesterday as of the time you're seeing this video so and I apologize for that uh, I was gonna do a video in the chaos districts but first of all they were a bit eh. and second of all I didn't enjoy the chaos districts and if I'm not enjoying it there's a good chance that you're not gonna like the video it's a week-long event so I still have the whole week to do it but I mean my original plan was to get it out first thing but unfortunately, you'd think a Chaos District would... You know what? You know what? This is a whole different topic. I'm not going to open that can of worms. I'm just going to stop this here. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Have a good day.